Hello and welcome to another episode of Science Bang. It's been a while since I've uploaded any videos, but we're going to do something a bit fun today. We're going to make thermite. Now I know it's been done a lot on YouTube before, but this time we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to make a little uh, capsule of thermite, we're going to try and burn through a padlock. So in order to do that, we're going to build a, a frame out of wood, lots of aluminium sheeting to go across so we don't set the wood on fire, and then we're going to just make a capsule, go for it and see what happens. So to make thermite, there's two key ingredients. One of them is iron oxide. We're using black iron oxide for an extra um, oxygen molecule, which helps oxidization. And we've got um, aluminium um, powder, very fine powder, which, um, which iron oxide will oxidize. You can just use ordinary rust, but black iron oxide works better. So the stoichiometric mixture is approximately one part aluminium to three parts iron oxide. Um, so we're going to measure a small amount into a little cup and mix it up. So here, all we've done is zip-tied a packet of thermite to the lock and lit it with magnesium ribbon. Despite the show of lights, the thermite did not have any effect on the lock, it just melted through the uh, container and dripped into the bucket. So here we've got round two. Again, you can see the same thing happen again, where the thermite goes off and melts through the packet. So what you can see here is the plastic packet dripping away. So. As you can see, we're not actually um, breaking the lock, and I think what's going on here is that the um, thermite is just falling away um, before it gets a chance to heat up the lock properly. Um, now, because thermite theoretically melts steel, they use it for rail world welding, I can't see a way to contain that thermite around the lock. So, we've got a lot of um, aluminium uh, and uh, iron oxide left, so let's just have some fun, shall we? So, as you can see, there's always something that goes wrong. This time, the magnesium didn't burn over the lip for some reason, so round two on the fun one. As you can see here, the thermite burns extremely hot. It's melted the iron and the aluminium in the bottom of the crucible. Now, although it burns this hot, as we saw before, it's very hard to burn through a lock because it just falls away. So I'd hesitate to say that when you see it in movies, it probably doesn't work like that in real life. Thanks for watching and see you next time. 